Well, at least we get to finally do some from this album. I'm excited. Hi guys, welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And we are back with another Patreon pick from our patron, Mike R. Thank you for your support, Mike. I truly appreciate it. And uh, we're going to be listening to the band. And it is from, what is it called? That album? Sorry, I had it. And now it's gone. Uh, music from Big Pink. Which is a very interesting name for an album. I like it. It was released in 1968. It's a debut studio album. Um, the song we're listening to is called Chest Fever. It was written by Robbie Robertson. Um, I guess the lyrics were, were kind of, or I guess Helm kind of helped with the song as well. Like the songwriting credits are kind of screwy. I guess that's what Wikipedia says. But Robbie wrote it. Um, it's uh, track three on side two of their debut which is pretty cool we've only done mostly live stuff i think we've done one studio cut from them so i'm kind of excited to actually dive into the studio stuff um because you know we did the big show and everything we did oh god we did so many songs from that show but it was great though like literally like every last video we did for that it was it was so good um but i'll be linking that up there if y'all want to watch the other stuff by the band let's go y'all aren't subscribed please help brother out click that icon Dun 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 dun. Right there. I'd appreciate it. And leave a like and a comment too. If you don't mind. Chest fever by the band. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hudson's the
like a hybrid John. There's points where I swear it's Steely Dan. But then other parts it's not. Like not here, it's not here. Snare sounds so good. What have I been missing, bro? We gotta do more from this album. That was so good. That was like a weird mix of like jazz, rock, folk, psychedelic, like a little bit of like R and B and soul too, like. Wow. They had such a strange, not strange in like a bad way, but it's such a strange, like atypical sound for 68. Because it seemed like most people were like, you know, in their own, like their own kind of lanes for the genres, you know what I mean? And there's a few bands that crossed over here, there, but you know, that everything started to intersect, you know, in the 70s and the 80s and stuff. But, and of course, as we, time went on, it, you know, kept doing that. But that felt like such a, like, you know, I, I hate to use the word strange because it's got such a, like, a negative connotation, but I'm not meaning it that way. Like, it's so different. Like, I really like that a lot. Like, that organ um, from Garth really adds such a the, the strange just vibe of, like, this layer that they add to it. This, the, like, the whole atmosphere with, like, the, especially when the, the saxophone and clavinet, whatever that was, like, popped up. Um it adds like these strange, like weird little quirks to the song too. Like it's so cool. I, I didn't know that um, they sounded like this, you know, because we've done a lot of the live stuff, but it, it was them playing other people's songs. And I think I've done like maybe like two or three of their actual songs. That was really good. I want to listen to more from this album because that was that was amazing. Honestly, like the more I think about it, that was really, really good. Um, So... Bob Dylan did the cover painting for this. Oh, Robbie Robertson on electric acoustic guitars and vocals. Uh, Richard Manuel on or Manuel on piano, organ and vocals. Garth Hudson on the organ, piano, clavinet, soprano, and tenor sax. Uh, Levon, Levon Helm, Levon. I always I never know how to pronounce it right. Um, drums, tambourine, and vocals. And then Rick Danko on bass guitar, fiddle, and vocals. And like I said, this was. Oh, they did a cover of Dylan, I Shall Be Released. I don't think we've done that one yet. Um, and yeah, yeah, Manuel was the lead singer of this one. Wow, thanks for that, Mike. That was really, really good, bro. I really liked the organ the most, but the guitar was sick too. The piano was great. The drums, oh my God, Helm is rock steady, dude. That snare sounded so good, man. Oh man, that dopamine is flowing right now. That was such a good song. I want to play it again. Should I play it again? No. Oh, like five minutes long i can't do that tonight but i totally would that was really good um i look forward to listening to that again um i like the vocals like the vocals were kind of like really low surprisingly in the mix uh the piano was really high up the organ the drums especially that snare like that snare was way up in that mix it was everything was high pushed up vocals were kind of pulled back the guitar was a little pulled back at points too um so that's why I said, like, it's like a strange kind of genre hybrid. And then the mix is a little, like, it's atypical. You know, I think that's so cool. That's such a good, like, um, that's points in my book. Because anything that's different, you know, I, I really like usually. Especially when you mix stuff like this. They really, they really had something here. Especially from this one song. I, and I know that you guys have been talking about um, this album for a while. Ever since I started doing the, the band videos. You guys have been saying, do this album. And, um... Now I see why. So thanks for saying that, Mike. That was great. I definitely want to hear more. So if you have any other suggestions by them, uh, leave it down below.
especially if it's from this album, because I definitely like to hear more about, uh, from this one. I'd say that, yeah, the guitar, the organ, definitely that drum. Oh my God, that snare. I just, ta, ta. It's stuck in my head right now. Um, I always get one of those songs one like once a night. It's like an earworm that'll just, one random part will be stuck in my head for like the next day. Like it, it was another tricky day by the who the other day. Like I woke up the next day and all I kept hearing was that chorus. <laughs> and I kept annoying um, my girl today with like it's right on the peace string. Clap, clap, clap. And she's just looking at me like, <laughs> oh man, that was a good song too. We we really do find some gems here and I'm so grateful for all of you guys. We're uh, I'm kind of dealing with some crap right now at the channel and um, I'm probably not the only one. Um, if you watch other channels, they're probably dealing with stuff too right now because um, there's a certain music rights group that's really uh, clamping down right now and they're being um, doing different things than they usually do and it's kind of throwing me off and it's screwing up with all of my stuff on here. And y'all know that it's not the number one priority here, but I do still need to like survive at the same time, you know? So I have to, you know, make decisions that I have to, you know, I don't know. It's really not here or there right there, uh, right now, what I want to do, but they're just being not even bullies. It's just business. You know, it might be a slow month for them for all I know. And they need the revenue. That's what I can't, that's what I came up with because it's never really happened like this before. So, uh, it, we're going to continue on as usual. I kind of have to give up a few videos though. Um, and like, I'm used to that with certain bands, but now they're really not with other bands too, that were good before. So, I don't know. I don't know what's up or down right now with that. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing and uh, good things will happen because uh, we have a great community here and I'm grateful for each and every one of you guys. I really am. So thanks for watching. I will see y'all later. Patreon right there. Hey, that's a picture of it. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you join the $15 tier up, you get one for your request a month, just like uh, Mr. Mike did here. And uh, once again, I appreciate your support, Mike. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if this is your first pick or second pick. I don't know. Um, but it was a great one, though. Don't matter which one it was. That was an amazing pick. And um, I'm probably going to add that to my Pandora right now. Um, there's also a PayPal as well in the description if you want to leave a tip or a request that way. But if you join Patreon, get access to all the block videos, full album reactions, and our patrons only Discord. We'd love to have you. Bye. Oh, no. Now I got to sit here. Three, two, one. Bye.